scary story. So it is currently 9.08. Right now, I don't know if I'm getting my mole removed or not, to be honest, but if I do end up getting it removed, then you'll know because I'll be posting this video. <laughs> hey guys, it's Brianna. I didn't know where else to film an intro because I have to be driving right now. I didn't really have time to like film an intro anywhere else. So. Also, I don't know if you can hear me because I have the air on and my water keeps shaking in its cup holder. Okay, let me give some backstory. So for those of you who actually watch my videos know that I have a mole on the left side of my nose. But it wasn't always like that. I think I started getting it in like the 8th grade or probably freshman year honestly I don't even know in my little head I think I've always had it because I don't remember not having it but then again like let me give you an example okay so there was this friend that I knew in middle school I saw them on the first day of freshman year and they were talking to me and they told me that I had something on my nose I was thinking in my head like I've had this like how have you not noticed and then I started thinking like okay people haven't seen it or I didn't have it before and now that I do have it they're like what's that you know I don't know I honestly don't know um, I don't know if this story is making like any sense or anything but so basically I've had it for a while I went to the dermatologist I think twice to get a biopsy to make sure like it's not like cancer or anything and it's not so I'm really happy for that and I don't want to give the impression that I've been insecure about it because I feel like if I was insecure about it then I'd be wearing a lot more makeup in my videos and I don't know if you can tell but I haven't been wearing makeup in my videos like right now because I feel like there's just no point like I feel like if I do wear a lot of makeup I feel like I'm trying to hide the fact that I do have it when it's like so obvious that I do have it so it's not like I can hide it either way okay this backstory is like all over the place but basically I went to a dermatologist twice to get it removed right scratch that I didn't get it removed it was a biopsy but in those two times like it grew back so I did research like is it supposed to grow back or is it supposed to stay off because the fact that it did grow back twice like concerned me a little bit but at the same time they didn't remove it remove it when you get it removed you either get it like frozen off you get it like cut off you get it i don't know you get all these weird things that might be happening to me today so i don't know if i'm like excited or nervous like i know how i look like without it because in my biopsy it was like flat instead of like rounded and i covered it with makeup and i took like a little selfie and i was like dang i look like a normal person that sounds so bad but i did look like the average person that's a reason right there why a lot of people don't agree with like getting a mole removed because it just makes me look like everyone else but at the same time that's not how i think about it i think it's just like something on my face like yeah i have accepted it because i feel like it's kind of like acne but not really because it doesn't go away but i feel like it is like acne in some kind of way because you can accept it and you cannot be bothered by it and you know that or i know that i'm not gonna put myself down for it just because like i have a pimple or just because i have a mole or anything because there's nothing i can actually do about it but my point is that you can accept something and you cannot be bothered by something but at the same time still want to not have it there if that makes any sense like this appointment and this removal isn't just because oh i want to get this on my face like oh it's so ugly <laughs> only because like if i have this opportunity and this chance to i don't want to say give me a little more confidence because i feel like i'm already confident enough i don't know i just want to do it also i've been wanting to do a lot of dry with me videos but at the same time i've been grounded so much that my parents made me quit my job and if you want to set up a video on hella strict parents i'll make one because i can go on and on and on so yeah that was my intro basically i don't know how long this intro has been but i feel like it's been pretty long i'll see if i can get any footage of like them actually doing the procedure or i don't know what it's gonna be to be honest but i feel like i'm nervous but excited at the same time because i don't know what's gonna happen i don't even know if i'm gonna get it removed today so that's the thing so i'm at a red light and i'm just gonna close off this intro so if you want to see what happens to me just keep on watching this is how i look right now and that's another reason i completely forgot to say that if it like stayed a consistent size and color and shape i feel like i wouldn't be like as what's the word i don't want to say bugged because it doesn't bug me at all but in the past year i got a biopsy a year ago so it was off my face a year ago and it's grown back to i think it's actually getting bigger than what it was last year and it's getting a lot more red 
my concern. Like, yeah, I have seen people with moles and stuff, but I've never seen people with my kind of mole, which like makes me kind of like, like what's wrong with me? <laughs> that sounds so bad. Like I know there's nothing wrong with me, but I just don't have the answers that I would like. Cause when people ask me, like I have to give them an answer like, oh yeah, like it's a mole, but I'm not sure exactly what it is anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna show you my face one last time before I go and do this thing, if I go and do this thing. But if you're watching this, then I did go and do that thing, so. All right, so I'm gonna go now and keep on watching to see what happens. Hey guys, so this happened, right? Um, so what they told me, they told me that when they sent the biopsy to the lab, they gave me this paper, right? Because right now what I have is a wound. I've had this done like twice. This is my third time doing this, but I didn't cry this time because obviously they're supposed to numb the area. So they like use this huge needle and they numbed it. Also, I couldn't record anything because there were no like phones a lot or you couldn't use your phone. There was a sign on the door that said no cell, no cell use basically. They told me that the diagnosis that they got i forgot what it was because i was gonna search it up so i tried remembering it but i couldn't remember it started with an f and then the second word started with the p it's like hello poly something I, don't, I have no idea to be honest what she said but they're gonna send it again so they can figure out like what it actually is because no one knows what it is so basically the doctor the dermatologist said that this time she's gonna try and make it like a clean she said shave, it's just basically cutting it off. So this time she said instead of just shaving it and like not getting like every single piece, this time she's gonna get every single piece because it wasn't supposed to grow back last two times, but it did. That's why they're like so confused on like what it is. Okay, I moved the camera so it looks different. So they gave me this paper on instructions. So after 24 hours, so tomorrow at 10 in the morning, I can finally clean my face but like i said earlier i have an open wound so to not develop a scar the lady gave me this it's called stratamine that's how she pronounced it but it looks like stratamine basically it's just like a wound healer it heals wounds and it prevents scarring from happening so that's basically like the things that i'm gonna be following and she also said that the results from the lab will come in in two weeks so if i don't hear from them i can call and if it does grow back, then I have to schedule an excision, or I think that's what it's called. And that sounds really scary, like, because she also mentioned a plastic surgeon doing that. So, like, it's so crazy, like, a plastic surgeon? I'm gonna need plastic, like, no, I don't, like, I know it's not plastic surgery, but it's, like, the fact that an actual plastic surgeon is gonna be fixing my face. But, like, the whole goal of this is for it to not grow back, because when it grows back, it grows back bigger so yeah also my mom told me to get me my brother some food but i kind of don't want to like go to fast food restaurants right now because a lot of people i know work at this fast food restaurant actually a lot of people have school right now so right now there wouldn't be a lot of people working because i don't want to eat like junk food like zaxby's or something but i kind of want chick-fil-a i don't know i'll update you on what i'm eating and if i feel uncomfortable going through the drive through i don't know if i should film more videos because i'm gonna have to be wearing a band-aid all the time but does that matter i don't know but for a normal video probably all right i'm gonna go now because i've been sitting here talking forever oh yeah i didn't even describe the procedure okay so basically what they did after it happened my mom told me that it looked so ugly <laughs> because basically what they did i already told you about like the needle that they had to numb me with it was like this big they put a needle right in it and she like injected something i don't know but i felt such a big pressure and after that it felt like some kind of high because i felt like i didn't have a nose and it felt like i was like woozy like my nose was going like this or something like that i don't know but obviously it was to numb it so that's why i felt like that and after that they let that like sit in for a little bit and then i think she disinfected it with something and then her assistant she got like some kind of cup or something and she was like right next to me and then i think she got like some kind of razor or i don't know what it was she just went like Bloop. and then she just put it in the cup and my mom told me that when she did that it was like white i was like i mean every time i touch it it turns white so then after that i don't know what they did i'm not sure if they like um had it dry i don't know what they did but i just know that after that they started burning the outside and my mom told me that it was all black like and when they were burning it it smelled awful in that room but obviously i knew it was the burning of my skin so what i smelled in that room was burning 
skin my burning skin that was weird already smelling it but i can imagine like my mom just watching that entire thing and seeing my my face and seeing that there's a hole in my face and not only that but my skin is black like uh i think that's enough talking that you pretty much got the entire procedure like after that they put the band-aid on my nose so yeah and in 24 hours i can finally put this on so i don't know if this was like much like good content or anything because this is basically just me like talking and like telling you what i'm doing and telling you about my day so this is basically like a story time but in real time but yeah right now i'm gonna be going to chick-fil-a well probably for me probably i'm gonna get my brother zaxby's because i know that i don't think he likes chick-fil-a i don't really know i don't know i'll text him in a little bit and wonder what he's getting because my mom gave me 20 bucks that's basically all I have to say right now, and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, it's way later. I think it's been, how long has it been? It's currently 12.56, so it's been about two hours, and I'm about to take off my band-aid. And I'm not going to take it all off, just because I'm going to put it back on. And I'm kind of scared because last time it looked really, really ugly. So let's go ahead and see it. Oh my gosh, <gasps> do you see that? Oh my God, it's so black. I have a hole in my face. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm just gonna leave that alone now that we've seen it. So yeah, I also forgot to film an outro, so let's just make this my outro. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!